Yeah, beautiful. Hey, folks. Dr. Pedram Shojai here with a new friend, Dr. Perry. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, I am, uh, my audience knows I've had my fair share of injuries. And, um, you know, I've tried a lot of things. And one of the coolest new things I've been working on is some of this rehab through vibrational therapy. Um, it's been phenomenal. And um, you're the guy that kind of walked me into this thing. So um, it's it's something I wanted to share with my audience because I've tried stem cells. I've tried all kinds of stuff over the right. years. And um, yeah, let's get into how you got into it and what it is. Um, and we start talking around it. Yeah, well, thanks so much for uh, for having me today. And, uh, uh, you know, this has been a long journey. I've been in practice uh, 30 years uh, this year, and it feels like we're actually getting really good at what we do. And uh, it's been thanks a long a journey, but um, it, it's been awesome, totally been awesome. And so how I came into all the stuff that we do at our office, but especially the power plate and whole body vibration is that um, I was uh, shoveling snow. We had a huge snowstorm in, I'm from Chicago or actually live in Chicago, but from Toronto. And uh, so I, uh, we had a snowstorm in 02 and we had a huge snowblower at the time and uh, shoveling off the park and, and uh, long story short, I ended up blowing a disc moving a snowblower, like so many people, you know? And so you look for answers. And at that time, chiropractic care, whatever I was doing, wasn't working. So then you get into a fear-based uh, situation where you're now you're thinking, how do I take care of myself? How do I take care of my patients when I can't even take care of myself, you know? And uh, so through some of the work we do, some of the structural work we do, I was researching uh, whole body vibration for traction, different things like that. And it came across power play. And at the time, I uh, this is, you know, 04. So uh, there wasn't clinics I could go see and anything like that. So uh, really sight unseen, I passed it off of my wife as an anniversary gift. So... Uh, so that didn't go over so well, uh, but it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's smoothed over now after all these years. So, uh, but uh, nonetheless, so I started, I got the machine and got it home and, uh, and opened the booklet at the time. And uh, two contraindications were there were spinal thesis and uh, lumbar disc herniation. Oops. So, so I threw the book out. And then I said, okay, I have my decrepit body. How do I get my, my body or how do I get my body uh, back to shape with this incredible technology? And literally it was, you know, one thing after another. That's not really an exercise, but it feels good. This is not an exercise, but it feels good. And um, so one thing led to another. And then that was January of 04. And then uh, we started off in May, and I knew at that time that uh, something was changing because we usually go to a horse show in Kentucky, which is about a six-hour drive. And uh, by the time, and how I used to travel, Doc, was that I would be in the car for about an hour and would have to get out of the car every hour and stretch uh, just because my back would seize up. And so by the time we got to uh, Kentucky for a, for a show, um, I'd been in the car. So we had the plate for about three, four months. And we get to the hotel, and I realized at the time that when I got out of the car, I was like, we didn't stop. And my wife said, stop for what? And I said, we didn't stop for me. I didn't stop to stretch. And I knew at that time something was happening internally. And then we got our first plate uh, for the clinic. And then we had, you know, five and six people waiting and waiting as we were trying. You got a shoulder injury, you got a hip injury, you got a knee injury, you got a low back injury, you know, trying to figure this out. And um, so uh, it was really failing forward that we really developed this whole program. And uh, um we had, I just have to share one of these cases we had with you because this is early on in my career using this technology that has so many benefits. But we had this uh, 
mother bringing her twins and they were about, I don't remember now, maybe three or four years old and they had a genetic deficiency. So they had low muscle tone. And so they were in this stroller that was this monstrosity stroller with these cages that came up the side. So the kids wouldn't fall out and stuff. And she said, do you think the power plate could help them? And I said, well, we're going to try. So we got them on the plate. And so these kids are just like rigid like this. They can't even bend their knees. They're in these braces like, uh, you know, so their knees don't bend. And I stood them up. I had the mother hold the baby like this up in the air. And then what I did is I came behind and I karate chopped them in the back of the knee. So, so the kid would actually break, break that, that, that the kinetic chain. And pretty soon we had them doing squats on the plate. And I remember the magical day where the mother brought the twins in with no stroller. So, and I, I have that video somewhere. I've got to dig it up because it's a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful video clip of them walking in the office. They took, I think, uh, eight or nine steps, 10 steps by themselves. So that was pretty cool. So that's the power of the technology. I love it. You know, what's funny is I, I, when we met, I was complaining about having, you know, low back pain, uh, sacroiliac joint pain. I mean, I've skied almost 70 days this season, so I kind of deserve it. Right. But, you know, nonetheless, I was feeling a little old, you know, getting a little cranky and uh, started doing some like, you know, just basic stuff on the power plate. Back's been fine, like more than fine. I'm just doing stuff again. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I was, I was an early adopter in this. We used to have it in our clinics back in the day. Um, and, you know, it was just too, too big, clunky, and expensive for home use for the most part. I mean, most people don't have the kind of square footage or money to put these things down. And they've developed home units now. Um, and I've been down there two, three days a week playing on the power play and it's really helped me extend my ski season, um, uh, you know, and, and just deal with some of the injuries. Um, yeah. what, what are some of the things, I mean, I, I see someone's asking, is it good for osteoporosis? Um, I think well, some of the early studies that I saw on 40 Hertz vibrational therapy was for bone density and muscle density. So I'll let you answer it since you've been around this stuff so long. Yeah. And before I answer that question, let me ask you a, a question. Did you, I know we initially talked and I gave you that little, uh, exercise to try out did you do that so a uh, little twist in, in in all of it so let me tell you what's happened since then um uh, i ended up herniating a dick a disc in my neck um <laughs> like oh, man talk about a buzz kill um i woke up one day and you know i've been skiing a lot right i woke yeah. up one day and i'm like uh-oh uh-oh right and so i've been doing a lot of conservative care and i haven't had a chance to call you to say hey is it okay is it contraindicated to get on the machine and vibrate this thing with some radiculopathy um and so um but last week i started doing the tabata protocol um didn't aggravate it and um just started doing push-ups to failure 30 seconds on 30 seconds off mondays right. and thursdays and i started doing kind of squats lunges and um kind of the golfer's pick um uh, so Monday, Mondays and Thursdays, and then Tuesdays and Fridays, the, the alternate. Um, and so, so far so good. Uh, you know, the neck, I just, I don't know what to specifically do for the neck. So I've been very careful about it, but you could tell me right here in front of everybody. So, okay, let's go back to your original question. We'll come back to your neck. Yep. Um, so about osteoporosis, we have a tremendous amount of, of patients that come in with us with our, uh, with our program for bone density. And you know, one of the things um, that is, and these ladies are put in a situation where they go to see their doc and they come with a piece of paper and they come in with all their file and they say, I have osteoporosis or mm -hmm. I have osteopenia. And so the minute they say, I have, they have put themselves in ownership of that situation. And I always tell them that that, that piece of paper does not define them. Whatever that physician told them does not define them. So we have to kind of like mentally put that in the shredder first, because everyone's got stuff to deal with. Whether we see it on the outside, an injury, you got a disc, whatever, it doesn't really matter what everyone's got issues. So, how do we deal with those issues? We put them on the table, but it doesn't define us. And these, um, 
you know, a lot of these ladies that have the majority of them that have bone density programs, we've been doing bone density work since 09. And we've got a tremendous amount of studies. And uh, we actually did a project with the hospital. We got a lot of data, but okay. So the, the body, whole body vibration is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal for whole body, for, uh, for osteoporosis bone density. Because you want to get multiples of your body weight. And so don't forget, like that plate is moving up and down. So that's, it's creating G-forces. So if we look at 40 low on that plate, it's creating 2.76 G-forces. So, you know, when we see the pilots training and they're in that and they're doing that loop and they're, uh, they're fighting against G-force. And um, so, you know, marching on there, doing squats on there, standing on there, doing step ups on there, uh, just getting over that machine, over the plate and and uh, working the squats, working the lower body. Just I call it plate time. They just need more plate time on there. So it could be something where the, some of the machines go up to nine minutes, and it could be just march in place for nine minutes. Sounds pretty simple until you try it. It's working. You're going to be breaking a sweat. Uh, it is tough. It is really tough. You know how I got in all this was um, there were some studies that came out of NASA. Um, originally, I think the cosmonauts were a little ahead of uh, you know the right. Americans on this. Is they were trying to figure out how the hell to keep you know astronauts up in space and you know with bone density and muscle density dropping and and somehow they came upon this forty hertz uh, frequency which really helped sustain their muscle and bone density while up there. Um, and at first it was like, okay, that's cool. Thank you, spacemen. Um, but then I started seeing some of the initial studies of people doing workouts on this and getting unbelievable results. So I think the, you know, the, the stuff with the workouts got out first. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I've been around a lot of clinics. I just haven't seen people doing rehab and therapy on it the way you've been doing. So it's just, I, it, to me, it's kind of blowing open the door of some of the protocols because, you know, you get a physical therapy, you go three times a week, they rub your neck, they do the stuff and it's incrementally better. Some of the stuff that I've seen happening uh, with you and your clinics has kind of blown blown my mind open to what's possible. So what what is possible? What are you seeing? I mean, other than some of this discogenic stuff, other than, you know, some of the osteoporosis, what else is part of the promise here? Well, you know, you made a point there about physical therapy and uh, we we have physical therapists that work for us and around Chicago, there's lots of, you know, a PTs in a box, if you want to call them that, right? They're in every shopping center. If you look in the window, they have the same stuff. If you were to roll back the calendars from to 1970, the equipment is pretty much the same other than it looks different. You know, it, it's got a different now it's got a keyboard now it's got a monitor but it's still a treadmill it's still a bike it's still uh, a schwinn bike or whatever it may be they still got rubber bands and, and and balls to sit on and move and you know we the kind of patients we have several different t classes of patients i do a lot of work with the hospital and we get patients where i bet you we have about uh a handful of consults a week where they come in with a stack doc, a stack of papers. They have gone to five, 10, 15, 20 doctors. They have been chasing a problem, whether it's neck or low back, two years, five years, 10 years, you, you name it, we see it. And, and they're like, well, I've already been to seven different chiropractors. Okay, well, that's nice. I just need you to. So one of the things I do is I like to do a lot of mindset stuff with patients. And uh, so whether it's osteoporosis or whatever it may be, and I have them, I put their, their stuff on the board or on a whiteboard. And then I, uh, I have them take up the eraser and I have them erase the board. Hmm. Because... You cannot achieve a different result with the same mindset that got you here in the first place. They're looking for something different. They're looking for, they're looking for hope. 
I just had a patient tell me last night, every time we come here, you're the doctor of hope. And that, that, and this is my passion. This is what I do. And nothing drives me to, to continue to drive the envelope and press forward than hearing that. So whatever we need to do, but so from low back injuries, we had a patient come in. I mean, I could give, there's lots of different examples, but this one really sticks out. He came from a pain doc. He had 25 rounds of lumbar injections, 25. And then he finally said, there's got to be something else. So the guy said, oh, yeah, I could refer you to a chiropractor. So he comes to see me. And I said, well, the problem is you quit after 25. I think the 26 was going to be the magic bullet. So uh, anyways, that was a little sarcastic response. But nonetheless, um, so I, uh, you know, so we see these really tough conditions where they've had fusion, spinal cord stimulators in one of the most uh impressive cases that i had that really changed my life a lot was i had a, a a wife wheel in her husband in a wheelchair he'd been in a wheelchair for eight weeks and he'd been everywhere absolutely everywhere and she wheels him into my office and just kind of throws him at me and says he's yours <laughs> fix this fix fix this absolutely well 10 weeks later i had him playing golf and it wasn't chiropractic as we know, as people think they know chiropractic. This was my form of chiropractic, which includes all the rehab of the plates. And we had him playing golf 10 weeks later. Explain that to me. When you say all the rehab of the plates, what does that mean? How do you get to the root cause of all this stuff? So, so we do, uh, we call it a structural assessment. We test the vestibular system, test their balance, test their posture take x-rays, but the x-rays we take are then run through a software system. So they're gonna give us a blueprint. That blueprint is no different than a blueprint for your house. It tells you exactly how big the rooms are and, and everything else. And that tells us like if it's a neck issue, like you're having a neck issue with your disc, is it a flexion injury? Is it an extension injury? Is it a C1 or the upper cervical spine that is unstable? Where's the problem coming from? Just because you have neck pain doesn't say anything. So we want to we want to pinpoint, and when we look at the data, we can actually see here's exactly what's going on. So whether it's neck or low back pain, and then we, over the course of years, doc, we we have hundreds of exercises and things that we have developed for patients. Because if we have a patient with a problem, I have to find a solution. That's your job. And yeah. And so we have to find that solution. And so we've got this amazing technology. We've got this machine that, that taps into our nervous system, meaning the whole body vibration, the power plate. It triggers the nervous system to fire. So, and if we can tap into that, then I know that we can change the spine from the inside out. How? How do you change the spine from the inside out? Are you are you rehabilitating the jelly donut that is a disc? Like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of theories around this. I mean, before neuroplasticity, we thought, you know, nerves were nerves and it was over. And, you know, I think the dominant theory in orthopedics is, you know, look, once you've damaged a disc, you've herniated a disc, you've ruptured it, party's over. You know, it's time for steroids and surgery. So what are you seeing that's different there? Well, that's me. <laughs> that's my story. Yeah, absolutely my story. Yeah. So when you're on your hands and knees crawling around because you can't stand up, you need to look for solutions. And it's unfortunate, but I, you know, um, most of my friends are in the medical field, and if you go through that door, then if you don't have the, if you don't ask the right questions. You're, I call it the spider's web. You get stuck in there and they get rotated between um, the primary care, the orthopedic, the pain doc, back to PT, which whatever. And then that just keeps revolving. And then it's like, oh, sorry, that didn't work. We're doing surgery. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at the jelly donut, when you look at the disc 
and you have a disc issue, then one of the things that, because we do regenerative medicine here as well, we do injections into the facet joints, into the lumbar spine. And we have done injections. I've had my spine injected. I've had my discs injected. But now some of the latest research has shown you really don't need to go into the disc because if you can get and realign those facet joints or the joints in the back of the spine, then you take that pressure. If those joints move better, then it takes the pressure off the disc. And so one of the things I've had many uh, surgeons come through here and when they're doing a surgeon or a, or a fusion of the vertebrae, um, I always tell them that they, they forget that there's a head attached to the spine that they're fusing together. And so what we want to do is put that head back over their shoulders, over their hips, over their knees, over their ankles. And that's uh, so we have all these different things that we do on the plate. That's why we have, we have 14 plates on the floor. Plus we have some other things that we've developed personally that are on the floor as well, a patent that I have. So you get people on the plate, you have the vibration going, and you do the specific exercises to biomechanically get them back in an anatomically correct position so the body can do what it does best? Correct. Right front. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so everyone has a blueprint. So if we're looking at your posture, let's, let's say we have – five people with the same disc injury that you have, mm -hmm. right? They're all going to be treated differently. So everyone has their own blueprint. There's no one size fits all. And if it's not working, then we need to figure out, okay, well then let's try plan B. If that doesn't work, plan C. But we've got to get into calming that nervous system down so we can start to work on re-educating neuromuscular system. Yep. Yep. How long? I mean, I, I've been I've been on this thing for a few weeks now, and I'm loving it. I, you know, this isn't the first one I've owned, yeah. um, but you know, it's nice to be back on it. How long before you start to see positive results with patients? Oh, it's fast. <laughs> it's really fast. Um, you can see. I mean, it, it literally within a couple sessions, you'll see a difference. Because don't forget, Doc, when they're standing on the plate. This is the difference between this and traditional PT. Let's say we're doing, they're doing exactly the same exercise. Well, most people are doing that exercise incorrectly in the first place. That's how they got injured in the first place. And that's how they get. So um, let me just clarify that for a second. I'm not talking about older people or senior citizens that are deconditioned. We've had power lifters in here that are 280 pounds could push the building over but they can't do a squat properly. So that's why they break down. We've had Olympic athletes come in here and those people are really broken down. They, they are like duct tape from one event to the next. They're, they, uh, it's crazy what they, what they do. But anyways, um, so I forgot your question, Doc. <laughs> um, how long? How long? Oh, yeah. How long? How long? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Selfishly, so, uh, I mean, I've got I've got personal motives in here, which is you know my neck, but yeah. you know, super curious. Yeah, no. So usually within a couple of weeks, we should start to see a change in in the neurovascular system. Okay, I mean, yeah. that's serious. Oh yeah, it's fast changing. Absolutely, it is. Absolutely, yeah. Love it. Love it. And what kind of condition, are there any contraindications? I mean, you're the guy who, you know, went against the contraindications to begin with, right? So, I mean, what, what contraindications, if any, do you see on these things? The biggest contraindication we have is, is a detached retina. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes right. sense. And so what happens that, I mean, is that people will say when they get on the plate, um, they'll say, oh, I, I can, uh, I feel it in my head. So because they're standing on it with either a stiff uh, straight leg or their heels are grounded without having their weight 50-50 on the plate. So if they've got too much vibration on their head, all they need to do is shift that weight forward to their toes and all that vibration goes away from the head. Yeah. Yeah. And so you just, you could just adjust how their heels hit. I mean, yeah, I've seen this, with, you know, I've seen this yeah. when my kids get on the plate. Yeah. It's like they put their heels down and their brains start rattling and you're yeah. like, you know what, you know, maybe, maybe not. Let's get up on your toes. Let's do it like a, like, yeah. like a cat. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we, I mean, we have patients that come in that, uh, but you know, one, one of the key things that uh, we take a look at all the time is there's nothing that makes somebody look older, whether it's a male or female, is that when their body is all hunched over like this and their head is forward of their shoulders when you see them from the side and they get away with it when they're younger, but has they in their 40s, in their 50s, definitely in their 60s, they'll go to the gym and they'll work. Oh, I, I work out four or five days a week. I'm in great shape. I look great on the beach or whatever the situation is. And I look at their posture. And then we take a look at their x-ray. And it'll be like, no, your spine, you're aging. you got a spine of an 80-year-old and you're 60. That's not healthy. Because don't forget, the whole premise of trying to get this get this, our head over top of our shoulder, over top of our hips and knees and ankles, so we're in a posturally, uh, posturally uh, correct position, is that our brain is producing this energy, microvolts of energy that has to travel through the spinal cord to every nerve, uh, through the nerves to every organ in our body. So every organ is totally dependent on that energy. And any shift in that vertebrae that's happened from the time you were born to a skiing accident, doesn't matter what it is. You played hockey. I heard you played hockey. So, uh, um, which is another question I have. But, uh, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so any one of those vertebrae, are, it's like a dimmer switch when it gets injured and shifted and it blocks the energy at that level. So we see it all the time when we take an x-ray of the cervical spine from the side and there's an injury. And then we see the thyroid being calcified. Well, there's no, no surprise there because the power supply is from the back that's injured. So the thyroid is a direct result of that. And probably the number one thing that we see that changes with this is the GI system and bowel movements. It's probably the, uh, the two things outside of why they came here in the first place, whether it's uh, neck or low back, is either GI issues or sleep issues. And even if they don't mark off sleep issues on their patient form, I always tell them you have a problem falling asleep or staying asleep. Nine times out of 10, we get either one or the other or both. And then the kicker is, do you feel refreshed in the morning when you wake up? And they'll get like, well, hell no. You know, so uh, the sleep issue and then bowel movements, because we see it on the x-ray. We have a state-of-the-art uh, digital system and it's, it's super sensitive. And you can see when someone's backed up and you'll ask them, well, how often we have a young girl right now. She's probably uh, late 27, something like that, 28. And um, she would sometimes go a week without pooping. Yeah. A yeah. week. And, uh, you know, and, and then what happens is uh, we start activating this nervous system, activating their spinal system. And then all of a sudden, magic happens. Their nerves start talking to their organs, and their organs start functioning properly. Yeah, it's fascinating to see. Fascinating. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. I mean, first off, I mean, if you're not pooping every day, there's a problem. Most of you yeah. do it two, three times a day. And it's unbelievable what percentage of humans in the Western world just don't do that. No. Um, and think it's you know normal or slightly abnormal, but not, you know. Um, uh, three bell alarm, frankly. Um, yeah. yeah. So look, I, I'm a big fan of this. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I know that you've had tremendous results in clinic. I know you've helped a number of my friends. Um, I started doing the protocols at this point. I mean, you know, this thing is new. It's cranky. It's not fun. And so I'm, you know, going to have to kind of consult with you separately or, I mean, I don't, I, you, it sounds like you need to diagnose, you know, the, the site of, um, the, the location of the injury first, right? So I just ask you a couple of basic questions. Are you yeah. putting heat or ice on it? Um, both. Okay. No heat. No, just keep it the ice. So just when ice. the disc gets in, in and the disc gets inflamed, what happens to this? Did you take a jolt or something? I, it's called life, man. I mean, I, I've been in the martial arts. You don't block all the punches, yeah. right? Um, you know, tree skiing, moguls, all of it. No, no um, overt 
mechanism of action or injury. Um, and, you know, probably, you know, uh, because the SI joint was cranky, uh, wasn't standing at the standing desk during uh, uh, our latest film launch and just kind of, you know, huddling over a laptop. And I think that was the straw, right? Yeah, so, the, so. Um, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, 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 when we look at that, when we look at the cervical spine, I, I got to ice it first. But what happens is that you've probably got an old injury, right? You got an old injury in there that is being overworked around a couple different segments. So one of the things that we can do is, and I can tell you, but it's over the door traction where we just basically take a strap and mm -hmm. take some of the tension off. Um, but yeah, taking, takes, taking the axial load off helps it immediately. So yeah, yeah. it's axial compression, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah and someone's saying, you know, standing back flips. I've done, I've done my fair share of standing back flips. I've done my fair share of, you know, monkey business, right? Like I, I tree ski, right? Like I yeah. tree ski every day. But yeah. I haven't how, how many days have you got in this year? I'm pushing 70. I oh, my gosh. My app. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a win. Yeah. So where did you play hockey? Never played. I never played hockey. Oh, I thought you said, didn't you play hockey no, or something? Or? No, hockey's, hockey's for white boys from Canada, man. I played <laughs> basketball. <laughs> yeah, I played basketball. I played I a lot of kung fu, a lot of martial arts, you know. Yeah tackle football on the beach, you know, all just, just being a, a boy and a monkey, right? Like just doing everything, but no yeah. hockey, no hockey yeah. in particular. No. All right. So, uh, yeah, but it's a pr pretty amazing technology. It really is. And, uh, you know, we just keep pushing the envelope and uh, developing new, new technique and uh, new protocols, depending on what, what walks through our door, you know, our tagline yeah. is to empower people to live their best day every day. I'm going to fly out to you. I'm going to bring a camera crew and we're going to um, look at some of these protocols Great. Um, and, you know, just show me what's up, show my audience what's up so we can like, you know, just share some, some of the stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, not everyone can get to you obviously, cause you know, you're far in, in Chicago. If you're yeah. in Chicago, obviously go see, go see Dr. Perry. Um, if not, what I'm going to do is try to figure out how to share some of your, your genius with, with our audience. Uh, like I said, low back has been great. I've been just kind of tenuous about doing anything with the neck just cause I want to ask you first. And yeah. here, we're, here I am asking you publicly cause we don't get to yeah. talk. If you have any x-rays, just send them to me. I can take yeah, them. Yeah. I'll send them. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, you know, we'll get it all over there. But yeah, I'll I'll take a crew with me so we could just kind of transparently show the whole process yeah. and just show how injuries get healed, right? Um, yeah, from A to B, from from A to Z. That's it. That's it. You know, and you know, it's, it's sometimes it's not pretty. But look, I've been around it. I've owned thirty some odd clinics. I've been around medicine a very long time. We've had dozens of physical therapists and you know uh, and everything working in our clinics. Right. I know. Um, I know what works and I know what's slow as hell, right? And, you know, some of these discogenic issues can be very slow to heal. Um, and so when I started to immediately feel results in my low back with some of the stuff that I was doing, I was like, holy crap, I forgot how good this could be. And then, you know, I met Dr. Perry, who's, you know, basically the guy who's training everyone uh, in these protocols for power plate. And so, yeah, I mean, great stuff. Obviously, it's, you know, it'd be amazing in nursing homes. Um, you know, I used to teach Tai Chi to people with osteoporosis and balance issues. Right. Um, and, you know, we, we lobbied to get power plates in each of these homes. Bone density, muscle density is the name of the game, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it changes. It changed my life from uh, really 16 years ago, 17 years ago, and continues to do that. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. Nothing, yeah, nothing like being a, a patient too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. my whole clinic is for me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Everyone else just gets to share some of the goodies. That's right. So, awesome. I, can hear right. Myself. I know, I know we did a, I think getpowerplate.com slash urban monk. Our, our team got a $600 discount on anyone who wants to try the, the home power plate. Um, and there's a couple of versions, but check it out. I, I swear by it. I love it. And I'm going to keep, you know, filming around it. I'm going to go visit Dr. Perry and bring it back. Um, but you look, if, if you're looking for quick home workouts and just, you know, great, you know, fitness type of stuff, it's wonderful. And if you're looking, you know, for kind of, you know, bumps and bruises and joint issues and some of the issues that I have to 
you know, be able to do all the crazy lifestyle things that I do. It's also wonderful. So it's, I think, I think it's just a great thing to have in the home. And, um, it's one of those things that, um, you know, has become affordable. So hallelujah. Right. It doesn't take oh, much yeah. space. Yeah. That move uh, product is really, uh, a, a great niche price there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. doc, keep up the good work. I'm coming, I'm coming over. I'll bring it. Right, I'll be excited to have you for sure. Yeah. And, and we'll, we'll do a part two and three of this. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I, I, pr I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Right on. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yep. Thanks.